IHGN Studios. It's Braves Beat. Hello, Braves, and welcome to a special powwow themed episode of Braves Beat. I'm Gino Cardosi. And I'm Greta Zender. Gino, can you not believe that we're almost at the end of the day? Yeah, one day more. Wait a minute. Do you hear the people sing? N no, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're just hearing things. Hmm. The voices. Well, there's a lot of news to cover, so let's get on with it. With this week being the last week of Black History Month, we shine the spotlight on one of our most iconic historical and judicial figures, Thurgood Marshall. He received his legal degree from Howard University and became the first African American appointed to the Supreme Court from 1967 to 1991. His work in the Supreme Court is utilized to this day to ensure the liberties and freedoms we have in this country. Indian Hills School District celebrates 43 high school and middle school students who received honors from the Ohio Music Education Association, OMEA, for District 14. This includes band, orchestra, and choir for 2022. Congrats, Braves! The music, seamless. The history, timeless. The special effects, mind-blowing! Braves, if you haven't heard about the global phenomenon that is Les Miserables, now is the chance to see this musical masterpiece put on by your peers. There are three more chances to see this incredible work. Tonight at 7.30, tomorrow at 2, and tomorrow night at 7.30. Great job and congrats to our actors, crew, and pit members. Here's a short clip during rehearsals. <laughs> We are excited to see this fantastic performance by our cast and crew. Now, let's send it over to our field correspondent, Marina Anderson, for this important story. Marina? Attention all seniors! The annual Odd Couple Dance fundraiser is coming up next weekend, Saturday, March 5th. It's going to be held in the high school from 8 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Only a handful of seniors have RSVP'd, so please do so immediately. The more people that go, the more fun we will have. Remember, it's 70s themed, so be sure to grab your bell-bottom jeans and a colorful snazzy top to go with. Tickets are $30 in advance and will be sold throughout the entire lunch bell today. Try and buy them ahead of time because the price will increase to $35 at the door. Don't forget your local favorite DJ Ace Deuce will be there and the prizes are sure to be the best ones yet. So buy those raffle tickets in advance. We hope to see you there. Be sure to sign up today at lunch. You won't want to miss this event. Last Saturday, our robotics teams were at Milford High School competing in the VEX Robotics Tournament. Team 421H finished the set of qualifying rounds with an impressive 6-0 record. All three teams made it to the elimination rounds. They made it as far as the quarterfinals. All teams will be back in action this Saturday at Harrison High School. Good luck, robotics teams. Brian and Meg have a fantastic new sports report for us. Let's check it out. Hello, Indian Hill. It's your favorite sports reporter, Brian Gia, back at the studio. And I'm Meg Gottman, also your favorite sports reporter. Let's get right into the sports news. Our Lady Braves are playing Kettering Ultra and Mason tonight at 5 p.m. for the district championship. If they win, they'll be going to the state final eight and play again on Friday, March 4th in the quarterfinals. A win will allow them to move on to state semifinals, which is the final four. Wow. If you're not going to Powell tonight, please consider going to Mason to cheer on our Lady Braves at 5 p.m. Our boys played against Monroe at Princeton on Thursday for the OHSAA sectional championship. The game happened after our recording, so we don't have the results. If they advance, they will be playing number one, Seed Woodward, who is 16-3 on the season. This game will be on Saturday, February 26 at 7.30 p.m. at Princeton Gymnasium. The district results for swimming and diving had come in. Jason Zell got first place and Isaac Scout was shortly behind him for the boys 200 freestyle. Gibson Holmes got first place for the boys 200 individual medley heat four. The girls teams are district runner-ups. We have some OHSAA state results. Girls OHSAA state diving meet was on Wednesday and Josie Festa placed ninth, one spot short of the podium, top eight. Great season, Josie. The boys and girls swimmers are competing in the OHSAA state championships on Thursday and Friday. We will have these results in that week's sports report. Junior Sky Williams made history as the first Brave to ever play second in the OHSAA sports sectional bowling tournament by posting a 620. Sky completed in districts at Beaver VU in Beaver Creek, Ohio on Tuesday, but fell short of qualifying for state. Great job and good luck next year. 
Our wrestling Braves did very well at the CHL's individual wrestling tournament and had five wrestlers on the podium. Congratulations to Vitaly Christo, Addison Ryan, Adam Christo, Andrew Boyke, and Demir Almirotov for all placing third in the respective weight classes. Our grapplers compete in the sectional tournament this Saturday. Best wishes to them in the OHSAA tournaments. Well, that's all the sports news we have. Back to you guys at the news desk. Thanks, Brian and Meg, and good luck to our winter athletes as they compete in the postseason tournaments. Congratulations to four Indian Hill High School students who earned a total of eight awards during the Scholastic Writing Regional Competition. The three Braves who earned Gold Key Awards will advance to the National Scholastic Writing Competition. This includes freshman Lily Waltz, junior Grace Wang, and junior Elsa Zhao. Additionally, sophomore Alexander Castellini earned two Silver Key Awards along with three honorable mention awards. Go Braves! Speaking of sports and competition, how about this great news? Our two mock trial teams competed at regionals this past Friday and got one of the toughest draws ever. They had to play perennial powerhouses like Centerville, Lake Ridge Academy, and Westerville North. All of those schools combined have accounted for five state championships in mock trial. So we took every single one of them down. Our teams went 4-0, raising our season's record to 12-1-1 and ensuring us our 20th trip to state over the past 21 years. Speaking of mock trial dominators, Tacey Hutton is the greatest of them all, and Daniel had the chance to interview her this week. Let's check it out. I'm with senior uh, mock trial competitor Tacey Hutton here. Um, tell us how our state qualifier went. Uh, yeah, so this past Friday, um, both of our teams competed in our regional competition, which meant that we had two rounds, um, one on each side of the case, um, and things went really well. We actually, um, you know, hit a couple of really strong or like historically strong schools um, in the state um, and were able to kind of knock them out of the running. Um, I know that, you know, our other team, Team Red, um, they hit a team um, and, and won their round, which meant that for the first time in that school's history, that they haven't sent a team to state. So, um, you know, that's a super cool accomplishment on that team's part. Um, you know, we hit teams that we've seen in the past um, and we're able to beat them. So overall, it was just a, a really fun day. Um, and now we were sending two teams on to state in March. That's fantastic. All right, thank you for joining me today. And this is Tacey Hun, and back to you at the news desk. It's intimidating how great she is. Good luck to Tacey and to both teams at state. On March 19th, 50 West is hosting the first annual Exploring with Grace 5K race, honoring the life and legacy of IH alum Grace Lewis. Run or walk, all are welcome. The link to the website is in the description below. Steven's got a brand new video interviewing teachers for their funny jokes. Let's check it out. I'm Steven Trainer, and we're going to interview some teachers again. Why did the piano player keep banging his head against the keys? Why? He's playing by ear. All right. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupt. No! Why do French people eat snails? Why? Because they don't like fast food. Uh, this comes from one of my math worksheets. All right. Um, why did the three little pigs leave home? Why? Their father was a boar. There are ten kinds of people, those who understand binary and those who don't. Do you know why I hate Russian dolls? Why? They're so full of themselves. What do you call a dog that has no legs? What? It doesn't matter. It can't come to you anyway. A ham sandwich walks into a bar. The bartender says, I'm sorry, we don't serve food. What did the fish say when he ran into the wall? What? Damn! I swear they could have been comedians. Don't stop the music. The IH Instrumental Music Fundraiser is back, and your support makes the music even sweeter. You can order throughout the weekend from the IHPTO link in the description. Dozens of delicious donuts and coffee from Krispy Kreme are available. You can pick it up the following Saturday, March 5th, and then tune into IHTM1 YouTube channel at 8.30 a.m. to watch the concerts. Let's go Braves! Mercy Health Athletes of the Week has nominated the girls basketball team for Team of the Week and senior Ella Riggs is up for Player of the Week after breaking all of those school records. Go follow the link in the description and vote, vote, vote. It's a great way to get them ready for their district finals game tonight against Alter at 5 p.m. at Mason. Make sure to come out and support your Braves for their chance to win district finals and go to the regional semifinals. And if you can't attend in person, tune into IHTN1 to catch the game on your smartphone. Hey, Gino, can I tell you a joke? Sure. So, Jean Valjean mm. is at the bakery and asks, how much for these buns? The baker says, oh, it's two, four, six, oh, one. I, I hate you. <laughs> so, be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, go see Les Mis, and email us with any school updates. And remember, remember 
Stay classy, Indian, Indian Hill. Alright, so I just got word from administration that we can't be using, uh, uh, we can't be making fun of people like that. Um, because bullying is not okay, it's not moral, guys. Don't do it, guys. Um, also, we are trained professionals. Um, also, everything that I say to Dylan is like, he, he totally agrees with it, isn't that right, Dylan? Wait, is this about you calling me a stupid bitch? Alright, hey, what's up, guys? Ready to be back on the video. Um, today we're gonna be doing wrestling. Yeah, I'll be teaching you guys to do some wrestling. You can see my name on that plaque over there. You can't really read it, it, it it's like it's like small font. All right, so of course, everyone, safety first. Um, we got we got the grapplers off. Um, make sure to take off the watch off. Also, at the same time, don't forget to get your, get your you know get some eyewear off. You know, I can't really see um, because of the glasses, of course. Um, pretty much, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to wrestle. Um, and pretty much, I'm, I think I'm gonna be wrestling Dylan Condor. Um, me and him gotta swap some beef, and like this is the only way to do it. So, all right, sick. All right, so before I can wrestle Dylan Condor, I gotta learn how to like wrestle. So I'm gonna be like watching Jeremiah here. Um, he's a pretty good wrestler. Um, he's like on the team or something. Uh, Brian, we all know what like Brian's an absolute demon on the mats. Like five-time Olympic champion, isn't that right, Brian? Yeah. All right, so, so they're gonna be wrestling and they're gonna show us how it's done. <laughs> All right, so that was just a pin you guys just watched. Um, pretty much that's what I'm gonna be doing to Dylan Condor because he's an absolute frail little baby. All right, so um, I'm, I'm gonna be learning all the moves I learned on Dylan Condor now. So um, let's see if it works. <laughs> All right, so I got five-time black belt, red master, um, Andrew McGee here. Say hi to the camera. Hello. All right, sick. Um, and, and we got Dylan Condor. Like, wrestling didn't really work out, so we're going to be, like, watching this guy do it on him. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Right here? Yeah. And then 